Um, hey everyone, I just wanted to address a question that, uh, that a Hindu brother asked me and uh, it kind of makes sense. It was on a YouTube comment and uh, this question does come up pretty often and uh, sometimes it doesn't make a lot of sense to a lot of people. So this gentleman was saying, um, how is the death of one man, Jesus, um, salvation for so many? Or how can Jesus being one die for the sins of the whole mankind and after that he followed up that question with an example he goes if how can charging one phone charges all phones and I thought that was an interesting uh, way of asking that question um, and let me answer the question theologically first and then we'll go back to the example of charging and charges and all of that stuff because that, that is also pretty interesting so uh, first of all, Jesus is not just any man. Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is God Himself, God in flesh. And humanity couldn't be saved without a human Redeemer. So that was the, that's the key point that we had to understand that Creator had to enter creation to save the creation. So Jesus being the creator had to enter creation to save the creatures so God himself God Almighty had to become man to save man so that's what happened um, no other sacrifice was enough our good works couldn't save us um, now if we say oh if I were to die for my sin will that save me no it will not the sacrifice acceptable to God is to be perfect. So Jesus came into this world, so God in flesh, God took on flesh, lived among us, he lived a perfect life, and he was acceptable as a perfect sacrifice. And since he, he, he offered himself as the Son of God, as the perfect sacrifice through the eternal spirit, so through all ages, all people who have lived are covered. So whoever will call upon the name of the Lord, as the scripture says, will be saved. So it's available to all, but will everybody receive it? Well, you know, it's up to each individual to make that decision, make that choice. We cannot force anyone into it. Uh, we cannot talk anyone into it. We cannot trick anyone into it. Um, so it's not a matter of, you know, deceiving someone into Christianity or forcing someone. It, it doesn't work like that. So the Holy Spirit has to work with your spirit and you have to make that ultimate choice whether you want to follow Jesus or not. So the sacrifice of Jesus is applicable to all human beings throughout history. Okay. Now going back to the, the example of the phone and the one phone charging cannot charge all the phones argument. That was pretty interesting. I, I think that uh, the Hindu brother made a very interesting argument there. But here's the deal. Here's the answer that I gave him. I said, listen. Jesus is the, the, the ultimate, the ultimate um, charger that can charge all the phones. So he's the one who charged this creation into creation. When nothing was existing, he's the one who gave the life-giving charge, if you will, and brought the creation, okay? And then sin came in, and think of it this way, all the cell phones, all the batteries ran out of charge. Sin just drained the charge out of, which is the life, charged out of the charge out of the batteries of all the cell phones. Everyone was dead. So Jesus, and I said, sub battery ka sub battery ka uh, sub chargers ka bap, or the father of all chargers of battery. He came, stepped into the world, to save the creation, to recharge the creation. You know, with that example in mind, and whoever believes in him and is willing to receive that charge from Jesus and get charged will be saved and those who don't will remain dead batteries again going back to the analogy that that Hindu brother mentioned and now Jesus is going to come back again and he is going to gather to himself all the batteries that took the charge <laughs> if that makes sense and all the dead batteries will refuse to take the charge will be taken and be destroyed. So uh, I think that that example that Hindu brother quoted was a pretty nice example. And uh, I think it could be explained this way, that Jesus 
being the charger of all chargers can charge the entire creation um, into back into existence so I hope it blesses some people and you find answer again you know it's not about me being able to just explain things away these are things of God things beyond our regular understanding oh my goodness look at that a car accident right there terrible I hope everybody's safe um, Jesus being the creator of all things redeemer of all things I pray that Jesus will give you wisdom to understand uh, the truth about God. May God bless you with these words.